I've been wanting to make this video for a little while because uh, to be honest, it's something that really annoyed me when I was looking for this information and I just couldn't find uh, anywhere uh, what I was looking for. What I want to look at is uh, how to set up your TBS Evo uh, VTX uh, with a KISS or a FETEC flight controller. Um, so, well, the first thing I'm going to mention is that the instructions I'm going to give here, uh, I applied to a FETEC F7, but uh, you can do this uh, exactly uh, the same procedure with the KISS V2 flight controller. It'll work the exact same way. Um, so here's the VTX, uh, TBS Evo. A lot of people tend to just kind of think that it's too expensive for what it is. Uh, but when you think about it, it's actually a good value because, uh, you know, the FETEC uh, OSD is about $30 and the TBS Evo uh, comes with a built-in OSD that's compatible with uh, KISS flight controllers. Um, and it's included in your VTX and being a TBS uh, Unify, you know it's going to be good, right? Uh, the one thing I struggled with when I was setting this one up in my Diatone Roma that I've got right here, which is uh, just, you know, by the way, a great quad, uh, especially for the price. Very spacious, it flies really well. Um, I couldn't find the information I needed uh, to get it to work properly. Now, the TBS uh, OSD uh, has a lot of features. I'll show you some uh, DVR footage right now. Uh, the only thing I'd say that it's missing uh, is the possibility to edit the layout, to change what you can see on the on your screen when you're flying. Um, they don't give you any control over that, but all the information you do want is there. It's not missing anything. And it also includes, uh, you know, uh, VTX control, cam control, um, and you can even uh, tune and edit your PIDs um, on your KISS flight controller through the TBS uh, EVO. Okay, so let's get to it. So just real quick, the small connector that you've got over here, we're not going to need that one. We're only using the big connector here. Um, and the way that I have it set up is uh, to power the camera through the VTX uh, with uh, HV um, VTXs. I've always found it to give really good results, at least with the TBS ones. Um, to power the camera through the VTX because it filters the power for you. Uh, and generally speaking, I get very, very clean FPV feed with that. Uh, a, a little tip that I can give um, for setting this up is uh, one of the things that's kind of nice about the FedTech flight controller is that you can use uh, the pin connectors um, to, to, you know, basically set everything up uh, without having to solder. In fact, uh, in I think all of my setups, I don't have uh, anything soldered onto the, the flight controller. Some people don't like this, but uh, I, th I find it convenient uh, just in case you need to you know, swap a component or something. It makes it that much easier. And basically, um, I'm going to put up uh, briefly a, um, uh, a wiring diagram of how you need to set this up. But as you can see here, basically, I've got uh, you know some wires running to the camera up to the VTX. And then from the VTX, I've got these black wires here that just go, that go into the side. Um, there's four wires that go in here. Uh, and so I'll go over with you what, uh, what they're doing. Uh, the last thing we're going to check out after that is the uh, serial configuration in the KISS GUI to make it function correctly. So while well, the multicolored wires that you've got here to the camera, those ones are basically just the five volt power from the Unify Evo and the ground and the video signal coming from the camera straight into the Evo. Other wires that we've got here are basically um, VBAT power, ground, which are the two over here and the other two on the other side are TX1 and RX1 from the flight controller. And those are the ones that are gonna pass all the uh, information that the Evo needs to give you the on-screen display. One nice little tip that I could give you guys for working with this flight controller is in terms of the connectors that you're going to need to uh, get it hooked up onto your uh, flight, a FedTech flight controller and your camera, 
Um, so the VTX uses a JSTGH connector, 7-pin, uh, the ones that have the little retention tabs on the top here. Uh, and I can't really remember which one came with the VTX, um, but if I'm not mistaken, uh, it's a connector that has uh, the wire with a uh, Moldex Pico blade at the other end, the ones that we use with our cameras. And then solder wires for uh, the remaining ones, uh, you know, like the VBAT power and so forth. Uh, so if you want to just easily hook this up to your um, FedTech flight controller, what you're going to need is, well, first of all, you're going to need some uh, six pin JST SH connectors. Uh, and if you find uh, there's a couple of shops out there like Pyrodrone, I think Race Day Quads has them as well. Um, iFlight makes um, some connectors for the DJI Air unit, which have uh, a JSTGH at one end and a six pin uh, SH at the other end. So you can, you know, buy a couple of those because it might be useful in the future and basically just remove by uh, lifting the little tabs here. You can pull those wires out of those connectors and then just insert them into the six pin on the other end and they'll connect to your flight controller that way. So this whole wiring harness, I can pull out from the camera, pull it from the flight controller and it just everything becomes disconnected. So I usually find it makes it much easier to work with that way. So that might be a nice little tip to work with. And so I'll leave this uh, wiring diagram up on the screen for a few moments, just so you can take any notes that you might need. And then uh, next we'll move on to the serial configuration. So the last step is we're going to open up the kit's GUI. Let's connect the flight controller. And so the first thing you need to do is head over to the advanced tab here. And you're going to want to uh, enable the advanced serial configuration. Uh, don't worry about this warning. I know it's alarming, but if you follow the instructions here, you're not going to mess anything up. Uh, so you can just click, I know what I'm doing. And so now what we need to do is, uh, if you see down here on Serial 5, you've got the VTX and ESC telemetry on the same uh, serial port. Uh, and the way that we've wired it up is uh, the VTX is now connected to Serial 1 for the OSD. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go here on Serial 1 and set it to VTX. And then down here, you're going to want to switch VTX plus ESC telemetry to just ESC telemetry like that and hit save. Now you're going to want to be careful here because um, in the past when I've played around with the advanced uh, serial config, when you hit save, sometimes it doesn't um, save the settings properly, uh, does some weird stuff. So you can just go back to the main page, come back to the advanced, and make sure that you've still got VTX on um, Serial 1 and ESC telemetry on Serial 5. Next, down here under VTX configuration, you're going to want to go and select the type TBS EVO Crossfire. And then you can set the frequency that you want, uh, the low power and the uh, armed power over here. So once that's all set up the way you need it, hit save. And uh, well, essentially you're done. That's it. So I hope that this video will be helpful uh, to some people out there looking for the same information I was looking for a few months ago and couldn't find. If you have any questions or problems or whatnot, leave them down in the comments. I'll try and get you all sorted out. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more of these videos in the future. Happy flying.